Goes to the running back. This is Thomas. Thomas across the 45. Jaden Thomas looking strong tonight. I tell you, that's going to be a that's going to be a run there of nine more for Thomas. Thomas was seven carries, 54 yards. We don't have huge running backs, but they are tough. Yep. We still got our interior line in. Stewart okay. coming in again for Thomas. So Thomas out and Nick in. Thomas just a little bit of a limp there coming off. Not bad. Maybe a cramp. All right, second down and one. Second and one for Carthage. Offset out of the left this time. Anthony Wilson under center. Minute 50 to go here in the third. Wilson, play action fake. Wants to throw. Throwing deep for Wade. This ball is oh. incomplete off of his outstretched oh. hands down at the two-yard line. I think he kind of ran the wrong route at one point. Don't you, uh, <laughs> Otis? He kind of got off his path. Well, the, the ball may have failed or something. Mm -hmm. Boy, I was impressed by Wilson there because he got hit as he threw that, and uh, it was right on the money. He did. That, yeah. That he could have been caught. He would that be was, starting somewhere. That That is impressive. Anthony Wilson, way to go, Anthony. He got hit just as he released that ball, and it was right there, right there on the money. Third down and one now for Carthage at the Chapel Hill 41. Minute 43 to play in the third. Hit Wilson under center. Quarterback sneak. He's got it. So be a house AC first down on the one yard gain by Anthony Wilson. And that will give Carthage a new fresh set of downs here. Well, they're going to say him fourth. Okay, that's fine. You know, I'm interested to watch some of the NFL games this week and see how few quarterback sneaks are going to be now that Mahomes got hurt. Mm. How bad is that, Otis? Yeah. A dislocated kneecap Ooh. three mm. to four weeks. Okay. No tear. That's a good thing. First down and 10 now for Carthage at the Chapel Hill 40. Play action fake. Wilson rolling left, throwing left. Incomplete over there. I think that was intended for Dubose. And it's second down and 10. I tell you what, that Mahomes, we watched him eye right here. I mean, in, in, was it White House? Boy. Yes. But uh, Mahomes just, just took over the ball game. Yep. We were up in the second half, 39-25, I think it was, yeah. and they scored uh, 38 unanswered points. All right, second down. Here's the handoff. It goes to Stewart. Stewart up the middle this time across the 35. Tough running. Nick Stewart. Stewart, I think, with another Howes AC first down. He's got another first down. Pickup of 10 for ha for uh, Nick Stewart. That was a good run by Stewart. They was trying to rip the ball out, but he had it tucked away with both hands on that one. It's a good, tough run. Coach Surratt would say after that loss to White House that he made a mistake. He played Tico Ree both ways and uh, shouldn't have done it. First and 10 now for Carthage at the Chapel Hill 30. Well, T forgot to get on the field when we went for two. That's right. <laughs> and went <laughs> what? When we went for two, T wasn't on the field. Oh, okay, first down and 10. Here's a handoff to Stewart. Stewart right side. And the big fella picks up about three or four more on what will be the final play here of the third quarter. Three more for Stewart there. And uh, we were gonna, we're gonna go to the fourth quarter here in just a second. Carthage will be up by a score of 40 to 14. Coach Surratt gonna let it run down. All right, Carthage leads First, at 40 State to 14. Bank Trust advances banking convenience with its new mobile app. Download the fsb &T mobile app and realize the full potential of 21st century on-the-go banking technology. At your fingertips, deposit checks, view real-time balances and account histories, transfer funds in your accounts, and pay bills 24-7. You can contact customer service from the app if needed during regular business hours. On-the-go, on-the-phone banking tech from your trusted FDIC member, Equal Housing Lender, First State Bank and Trust. This is Pastor Monty Pierce, along with all the fine folks at Central Baptist Church, located one block off the square in beautiful downtown Carthage. We hope you are enjoying the game as the Bulldogs make another exciting run for the championship. If you don't have a church home and you like friendly folks and a meaningful worship service, we invite you to join us this Sunday. Check us out at centralcarthage.com for times and more information. This is Dr. Monty. Go Bulldogs! 
Okay, a few fans uh, making their way toward uh, the exits, just a few to get the head start on the traffic. Uh, second down and seven for Carthage at the Chapel Hill 27 yard line. Carthage in control of this one. They're going to go 7 0 for the year, 2 0 in district play. Looks like they may be the only undefeated team in district after tonight, depending on those two games over at Henderson and Van. All right, it's going to be second down and seven for Carthage at the Chapel Hill 27 as we start the fourth and quarter here. Anthony Wilson in there at quarterback, going to be in the shotguns. Nick Stewart to his right. And here's Wilson going to run it himself and going to be tackled for a loss of several yards. The line of scrimmage was a 27, lost five on that play. It'll bring up third down and long. Well, that, that was a design quarterback run, but they got penetration. He never could Young man really the block. made a good play. The kid really made a good play from Chapel Hill. So it's third down and 13 now. Third and 13 after that six-yard loss. As we start the fourth quarter, Carthage up 40 to 14 here. Homecoming night. Cammy Hicks, the homecoming uh, court was introduced. Cammy Hicks is the 2019 homecoming queen. Three distinguished alumni were recognized. Okay, snap back to Wilson. Wilson throws left. This ball is incomplete. Mm. And that will bring up now fourth down and 14 at the 33-yard uh, line. Dr. James Browning, Dr. Forrester, and uh, Steve Robertson, the three distinguished alumni recognized. Did, did you say Dr. James he he Browning? Did, he I, did. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Oh, James, he is almost a doctor. Did I say doctor? <laughs> yeah, he did. I, I knew I said Forrester, Dr. Forrester. You, yeah, you did. Okay, did I, I did say James Browning was a doctor, okay. <laughs> well, that, that is not right. <laughs> Great banker, but doesn't have a doctorate. I took his position. Okay, snap back to Wilson. Wilson going to throw left. He has a man out there. This ball is, is, intercepted. In, is intercepted inside the 10-yard line. It's going to be the second turnover of the ball game for the Carthage Bulldogs. And Chapel Hill with a pick. They'll have it at their nine. Well, it's almost like a good punt. Yep. You know. And we still got our first defense out on the field. Well, I didn't really know the lady that they introduced tonight, but I know that uh, Robertson is a very successful, smart businessman. Mm, really. Got a, got a huge company. Really smart and sharp businessman. Yep, without a doubt. Dr. Forrester is a fantastic pianist. Okay. Hmm. Okay, first and 10 now from the nine for Chapel Hill. They hand it off and uh, running back out across the 10 to the 13. So again, there are four on that running play. And Quentin Owens on the stop. There's nothing better really, Jerry, than a piano player that really is good. Oh, the, the, and uh, listen, uh, the, of course, this is Casty Jones's daughter. And uh, oh, okay. graduated in, I believe, 68, uh, has been all over the world, and she played for us uh, at the reception. Awesome. Second down and six now from the 13. Hand out the running back going to the left this time to the 15-yard line, so picks up two more yards there. Rayvon Ingram on the stop. That was a great play by him. We got 10 minutes left. It's 40 to 14 Carthage Bulldogs. What made that play so spectacular about Rayvon is that fly sweep, what we like to run. They actually toss it to the receiver. And from he had a running start, but Rayvon caught him before he got to the sideline. So it's now third down at about five. And here's the quarterback. He's going to go deep down the middle. This ball may be picked off by Mary. It oh. And it is incomplete. Almost got it, Nate and Mary. Almost with the pick there. That was a great effort by him. He laid out with two hands. A little bit too long. Going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down and five, and Chapel Hill will kick it for the sixth time tonight, with the line of scrimmage being the 15. Sixth time. Let's see. We're not dot. We're not dropping anybody back yet. And no one's going to drop back. All right, so it's fourth down and five, and we have no one back. There's a snap. Gets off the kick. Line drive kick. Going to hit it to 43. 
And uh, we're fortunate it only takes a seven yard roll. So that's a 35 yard kick to midfield. You remember when we hired Surratt, he talked about, first of all, we're going to try to rule our district, you know, and we rule our district now. And then he said, then we'll talk about playoffs. And uh, that's what's happened in six state championships, and two semifinals, wasn't it? Three. Three. It's just like, wow. Nine, nine semifinals out of the 12 years. Okay, we've got a host of new dogs in. At left tackle is Braid Trockel. Okay, here's Wilson pitching out to Stewart. Stewart right side. He gets three to the 47. Three to the 47. Yeah, nine out of the 12 years we've gone to the semis. And uh, in, the, in the 12 years before Scott came, we were five and six in the playoffs. Okay, keep that number in mind, five and six. So we only went to the playoffs six out of the previous 12 years. So we went from five and six of the playoffs to 51 and six. And uh, 12 and 0 in by district matchups, six and 0 in state championship games. All right, second down and seven. Vontavious Gibson, the new tailback. Okay, Gibson. Nice move, 45-40. Gibson with a house AC first down. As he gets across the 35, it's going to go from the 47 uh, down to the 32, 15 for Gibson there. Isn't that the kid last year, Larry, that got carried the first three or four times he carried it, he got a touchdown, and he's been uh, on JV and they brought him up? I, no. That may be. That ain't the same mm -hmm. one? I don't know. I, I can't say for sure. There was someone remember that, that did that. Uh-huh. Cy Blasher's in at fullback. Cy Blasher? <laughs> no, <not>, sorry. <laughs> not Cy uh, The return of Cy. Uh, Let's see, uh, uh, who'd you say it is? Who is it? Cy Schumacher. Oh, Cy Schumacher. <laughs> okay, all right. That's close. First down and 10 at the 32. Pitch out to Gibson. Gibson up the middle across the 30. Gibson uh, with three right there. Gibson with three. And, okay, for fans who do not know, okay, Cy Blacksher was the quarterback in 2007, 2008, so he was on the state championship team in eight. So he was the first quarterback for Scott in the year 2007. Second down in seven. His junior year, uh, we went to play Liberty Hill, didn't we? That's the year Liberty Hill knocked us out in the second round at Hanby Stadium in, in uh, Mesquite. Okay, and we'll never go back there again. <laughs> Second down and seven from the 29. Oh, Second is, oh, we lost the control of it and then falls on it. Okay, and the reason we will not go back there again, that's a loss of five, the loss of five. The reason we will go back there again is not because we lost, but because uh, we had at least one receiver, maybe two, who lost a pass in the lights. They have unusual lights there. Uh, at, at, there's a light pole at the end of each at the end of the field on each side that sort of turn at an angle, and we had two players lose passes, pass receptions, in the lights. But that was Chapel Hill. That was Liberty Hill beating us 41 to 14 after we knocked off Mahaya big time in the by district round. Okay, here is G Wilson. Wilson rolling to his left, wants to throw it, throws it. It's complete, and it's going to be a. Uh, Completion. And that's Cy Schumacher. Way to go, Cy. We got two sophomore offensive linemen in the ball game, Luke Jackson and Zachary Carlisle, two 300-pounders. Cy Schumacher starting third baseman for the Bulldogs. That gonna be a, he'll wind up, be a, wind up being a four-year starter in varsity baseball. You don't find too many of those at the 4A level. He's got great genes. His daddy played. <laughs> Fix that he's got, he's got good training at home, <laughs> doesn't he? Fourth down and one at the 23-yard line. Wilson rolls right, wants to throw it. Throws it. This ball is incomplete. Oh. Oh. And I think it's incomplete or is it intercepted? Maybe intercepted. And we no. got a penalty. Did they intercept it? I don't no, think so. No, it's incomplete. Okay. Well, we got a penalty. 5.50 left, 40 to 14, Carthage. Wow, down to 5.50. I remember that Liberty Hill game, you know, that we got beat. We had, they had a big old blonde fullback or something. We could stop that song, gun. 
So never tackle them behind the line of scrimmage at night. Did they wave the flag off? Must have. I guess so. So an incomplete pass, and it was incomplete, means that Chapel Hill gets the football. You remember that night we played Mejia, that other time we played Mejia, and we started 14 to nothing, and then they played even with us. They had a great. Yeah, they had a great duo of quarterback and tailback. That's right. 5.51 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Got Ladarian throwing in at defensive tackle. Okay. And DeCarrie and Pelham at defensive tackle. Thanks for spotting all those, Otis. They're all over the place. Uh, thank goodness we can get those guys in to play. Got uh, their one-yard loss Caleb there. Caleb King in at linebacker and Cy Schumacher in at linebacker. Nate Mary at corner. Braden Wade okay. at safety. Jane Thomas at linebacker. Okay. Thanks again. Otis, Amy getting those uh, subs and identifying them. Okay, here's a quarterback for Liberty uh, for Chapel Hill rolling to his right. Throws batted down by Carthage. Incomplete pass. Hey, guys, would you all like uh, some district updates? Go yes. for it. Okay, Henderson hanging on 29 to 22 with six minutes to go in the ball game over Kilgore. Van still leading 21 to seven over Palestine. All right, so if those hold, then Carthage will be the only undefeated team in the district. And I think there'd be four teams at one and one. Could be wrong about that, but I think that's right. And Chapel Hill then would be 0 and two. Okay, here is Chapel Hill quarterback being uh -huh. rushed, rolling to his right under heavy pressure, throws this ball is caught. Across the 35, spin move to get him to the 40. It's going to be a first down for Chapel Hill. It goes from the 22 uh, to the 40. They had him in the backfield, but he made a great he move. Did. And got away from him and brought, threw it downfield. Brought down by Braden Wade. Okay. 37 yards there on that pass. I mean, 17 yards. 17 yards to the 39. 450 left to go now. Willis, the sophomore, on the run. Job Over the left side. On the stop. Okay, that's going to be a gain of uh, eight yards. You know, Braden Wade, you can tell that, that guy's just a really good all-around athlete. Does well on special teams, offense, defense. When he's on the field, he makes plays. Sophomore, move in from uh, Henderson. Mother teaches in the school district here. Okay, here's a handoff to the running back going left across midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Down to about the 15-yard line. Nate Mary on the stop. Wow. Okay, so a big run there. All right, gain of about 37 on that. And a first down for Chapel Hill. Clock moving, 4-10 left to go. Chapel Hill at the Carthage 15. And hand off the running back this time over the right side. Two or three. Size Schumacher on the stop. Got some big games in the Big 12 coming up tomorrow. I believe A&M and Auburn go at it. Or no, no, Auburn plays Arkansas. A&M may be at one of the Mississippi Ole Miss. schools. Oh Miss. Okay. So a three-yard gain there on that play for Chapel Hill. They've now got it down at the 12-yard uh, line. 3.25 left to go. Well, they're not getting in a hurry, are they? No. Again, Rudd is the quarterback. He came in when Coker got hurt in the first half. Rudd rolls to his right, throws into the end zone, incomplete. He's being pressured by DeKaley and Pelham. Brings up a third down. 40 to 14. We're ahead. Now, if this was a junior high game, they'd be running the clock right now. 3.10 left to go. Don't run the clock very often in high school games. Is there anybody kind of sticking out down there that you could mention or something? Any one of those? Uh, is there a quarterback down there up here? Cuff, Cuff is good. Rockmore is good. Rockmore, JV. Cuff, freshman. Those in the end zone again, incomplete. Yeah, I went to school with Cuff kid's dad. He was our quarterback for years too. How's it going to tell you they got a they got a senior, I got a freshman running uh, wide receiver, Kedrick Harper, that's going to be 
He's going to be a good one. He's already six foot three, six four, or something like that. <laughs> okay. You'll need, you'll need to remember Harper's name for sure. All right, fourth down for Chapel Hill. If you've just joined us, Karth is leading 40 to 14, 259 to play in the fourth. Reserves all over the field for Carthage here on defense. Yeah, I'd like to see us bring some heat here so they don't score. Fourth down and seven. And here they come. Rudd throws end zone incomplete. And that will give it to Carthage. And that Bobo. will do it. That was a good rush by Ladarian Thorne. Got to the quarterback, made him throw it early. Should good rush there by Ladarian. Way to go, Ladarian. So now, they've got three timeouts. We do, too, but uh, that, those not won't be used. So we just got to hold on to the football and run it out here. Okay, okay so you have you identified pretty much all those offensive well, linemen? Well, there's a new one in here, 78. Uh, Ray Griffin? Ray Griffin's in at left tackle. Okay. All right, Anthony Wilson Cottrell is. Fulton's the tailback. I formation behind uh, Wilson. Pitch back goes less like this. It's Nick Stewart. Stewart? No. Oh, is that uh, Jason Wade? That's Contrell Fulton. I mean, uh, Jaden Wade? No, it's number Jayden. four. Number, number four. Contrell Fulton. Okay. He's getting them all in. So that's a five yard pickup there. Out to the 12. Two and a half minutes to go. <laughs> Next yeah. week. Next week, yeah. I want, to, I want to ask you guys, how surprised were you that Palestine defeated Henderson last week? Not. Well, that kid just showed out. Well, and, and Henderson had, didn't have one of their main uh, offensive threats. Medford didn't play, I don't believe. Second down and five. And the pitch out goes to number four. And he's going to have, I think, a house AC first down. Again, now, who's number four? He misses that. that is Cottrell uh, Fulton. Fulton, okay. He's Palestine, Henderson, and Kilgore are going to be all about the same level of talent. Okay, so that's a house AC first down on that five-yard run. Okay, now we're under two minutes to go. Again, Carthage, if, if the results hold, Carthage will be the only undefeated team in the district after tonight. There will be should be four teams at one and one, and then – Chapel Hill will be 0-2. In other words, the playoff picture will be pretty much muddled here. 125 left to play. Wilson pitch out to Fulton. Fulton going left this time, hanging on to the football. And picking up a yard or two. So I hope you can join us next week at Palestine. Bulldogs are going to try to go 8-0. and and uh, let's see, that would be right there, a gain of, uh, we'll give him two on the play. Again, our defense is giving up seven points again, right? That's right. right. So uh, eight, eight points. Because I calculated this afternoon, 8.2, I believe it was, something like that. Oh, a game, yeah. A game, a game, uh-huh, yep. And, okay, now if, if we go the distance and play in the state championship game, then next week would be the midway point of the season because it would be game number eight. Second down and eight. Wilson this time handing off to Fulton, I think no, it is. It's Nick Stewart. Oh, Nick Stewart back in there. Okay. So a loss of three. All right. 20, oh, we don't have to snap it. No, that'll, that'll That's be it. it. That's it. Okay, I'll start working on the stats. Dogs win it 40 to 14. East Texas is a wonderful community, and at Panola National Bank, we're proud to call it home. That's why you'll find our bank and our employees helping others wherever you look. From supporting local schools to volunteering with local charity events, we're part of the fabric that weaves the community and its people together. When it comes to financial service needs, local is better. We provide convenient banking services so we can help our community grow. Panola National Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender.
Monty Bacon at Carthage Furniture is offering refrigerators at great savings. Choose a 16 cubic foot refrigerator in white or black priced for you at $5.99 or an 18 cubic foot refrigerator with a white finish or black finish just $6.49. If you ever need a refrigerator, Monty says this is the time to buy. Carthage Furniture, the huge store behind the car wash. Carthage Furniture on West Panola across from the Sonic where Rosa Speak Spanish. This is Mark Harris at Farmer State Bank in Carthage. Did you know Farmer State Bank offers 15, 20, and 30 year fixed rate mortgages? We will service your loan in house and you can make a payment at one of our five full service locations Center, Main Bank, and Rough Rider Branch, Carthage, Joaquin, Shelbyville. So come by Farmer State Bank and let us help you buy the home of your dreams. Farmer State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Mommy! Larry, can you be ready in 30 seconds? I'm going to try. If you'd like to earn up to a 30% discount on your auto insurance, then here's your chance. State Farm has an updated version of its Drive Safe and Save app, and drivers everywhere are enjoying the rewards. Millions are now saying, don't mess with my discount, and you will too. Just download the Drive Safe and Save app from State Farm to get started, or call us at Tate Barber State Farm, 903-693-7555. Friday night at Bulldog Stadium, the Carthage Bulldogs and the Chapel Hill Bulldogs getting together. And this was homecoming night. The homecoming court was introduced, and Cammie Hicks was crowned as the homecoming queen. And we had three distinguished alumni recognized, James Browning, Dr. Forrester, and then also Steve Robertson recognized as outstanding alumni for Carthage High School. And then the game got underway, and the Bulldogs scored First, after a kickoff return to the 36-yard line by Nick Stewart, set him up in great field position. Mason Courtney with a seven-yard run. Dogs were up 7-0. And then a 13-yard pass to Courtney increased it to 14-0 with 5.45 to play in the first. 11-yard run for Jaden Thomas. Kick was wide left. Dogs up 20 to zip. 9.42 to play in the second quarter. Chapel Hill then scored for the first time on a 32-yard pass, and it was 20-7. Carthage 548 to play until halftime, 324 to play until half, and the Bulldogs with a 67-yard touchdown pass to Kelvante Dixon. The two-point conversion was no good. Carthage led 26 to 7. And then the final score of the first half came with 22 seconds left to play on another touchdown pass to Dixon, this time from four yards out. And the halftime score, Carthage up 33 to 7. In the third quarter, the Dogs added to the lead on a seven-yard pass to Montrell Smith. It was 40-7, to 9.52 to play in the third. And then Chapel Hill scored the final score of the ball game. 80-yard fumble return. Extra point was good. 40-14. to 14. Carthage is the final score. And here's a look at the statistics. Carthage with 21 first downs. Chapel Hill with 11. On the ground, Carthage 165. Chapel Hill 70. Through the air, Carthage 18 of 28 for 281. Chapel Hill 10 of 22 for 155. Total yardage, Carthage 446. Chapel Hill 225. Turnovers, Carthage had two. Chapel Hill with one. Penalties, Carthage 8 for 75. Chapel Hill 10 for 74. And punts, Carthage punted once for 65 yards. And Chapel Hill punted six times for a 35-yard average. The Chapel Hill Bulldogs are now 2-5 and five for the year, 0-2 in district play. Carthage a perfect 7-0 and for the season, and they are 2-0 and in District 10 for a. For your Sports Beat Station, final score, Carthage Bulldogs 40, Chapel Hill Bulldogs 14. Larry Allen for your KGAS Sports. Okay, Jason, take it away. All right, thank you guys. Uh, here with Coach Surratt. Uh, Surratt, once again, a uh, very complete victory. Uh, and he's still undefeated after eight weeks. Uh, how, how, first of all, your thoughts on the game first and second half? Well, I thought we played well. You know, I, we, we had the turnover. They uh, picked it up and scored. They turned over six there, and uh, we had to take care of the ball, obviously, there. And then, you know, I thought the first half, the only seven they got is, you know, <laughs> on the uh, rough of the punter and, and, and extended the drive. So I thought our defense, you know, probably had a shutout there if it wasn't for those two things. And um, offensively, you know, I, th I thought we, we played well, got everybody in. And uh, when we got when it was 40 to seven, we got everybody in. Everybody got to play, and that's always a positive. And gets uh, gets these younger guys experience for the future. And uh, that's 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 our that's our goal when you win big. All right. And so now we start to hit the stretch drive of the season. Uh, 
Does anything change with your team from week to week as you get ready to hit those last three or four games? Yeah, I, I just told them, you know, get ready for a tougher Monday next week. You know, I said I think it's time, you know, kind of uh, put the hammer down, so to speak, and, uh, you know, hopefully get on a run and get hot and, uh, you know, make a lot of noise in the playoffs. Right. I, told you, I told you a while ago that uh, the way district is, you never know what's going to happen. We may be the only uh, undefeated team left in district after the second week. Pretty tough district. Palestine coming up next week. Yeah, it's always tough district, you know, and, uh, it, you know, Palestine just played very well at home. And I just told the kids we're going to enjoy this victory and then we'll get ready to go Monday because uh, Palestine played very, very well at home uh, this year. And But we've, we've had a lot of success over there, so we've got to – Get ready for another business trip next Friday and uh, go get a road win. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. All right, man. Thank you. You've been listening to Carthage Bulldog Football on your sports beat station, KGAS. Providing the play-by-play has been Larry Allen. Our color commentators tonight have been Mark Harris and Otis Amy. Jason Wade has been on the sidelines with the sideline mic. Remember to stay tuned to the East Texas Scoreboard Show immediately following this broadcast. For the entire Sportsbeat team, I'm Jerry Hansen saying so long, everyone. (laughs) 